Hey guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, me and the guys spent a few days in Turkey a few weeks back, and this is a trip I was really looking forward to going on because I'd never been to Turkey. I've worked at Your Golf Travel for over seven years now. Makes me feel a little bit old. Um, and obviously Turkey is one of our most popular destinations for obvious reasons. You've got the all-inclusive element, you've got incredible hotels, amazing standard of golf course throughout. And obviously I knew a fair amount about the destination, but I'd never been. So I was really looking forward to experiencing it firsthand. And um, the first stop on our mega tour where we played six golf courses in three days, 36 a day, was the amazing five-star Cornelia Diamond Resort. Uh, so I'm gonna go back in time a little bit going to take you around the resort and basically this is a perfect example of the type of setup we have out in Turkey, what you can expect if you go on a Turkey golf holiday. Let's shoot off back to Belek. Just touched down in Antalya Airport in Turkey on the way to the golf resorts in Belek this week with Mark. Those guys over there. Mark, uh, Matt and Dan. Just waiting for our bags to come out on the baggage belt and our first stop this evening is the Cornelia Diamond Golf Resort. Uh, I've never been to Turkey so far. I know Matt and Mark have a couple of times each. They came out with Turkish Airlines for the Turkish Airlines Open. Uh, I think that they did another vlogging trip for your golf travel as well. I was invited on that one. Uh, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what this part of the world has to offer in terms of golf. I've heard great things. Come on, golf bags, just get here so we can go. From the table? No, we didn't steal from the table. They sell. Oops, sorry. There we go. Thank you. All right. And away we go. First stop, Cornelia Diamond. Let's check this place out. Seven. Mm -hmm. Seven oh, one's going down, one's going up. Let's have a little competition, shall we? So just arrived in my room in Cornelia Diamond and I have to say, it's very tasty. And just as if it was timed on purpose, our golf bags have just arrived. Lovely levels of service. Let's get a look at the logo on that bag, Dan. That's been, that's been around the world, that one. That was made before there was golf courses in Turkey. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so just got to our hotel room. I'm bedding down with Dan this week. Well, actually, bedding down sounds a bit wrong. We're sharing a room, sharing a twin room. room. <laughs> um, and the view outside the back of our hotel room here at Cornelia Diamond is spectacular. I've gone a little bit silhouetted there, but as you can see, there is the sea, when the camera focuses. There we go. Oh, hello, water park. Lazy river that runs around the hotel. Yeah. Pools o'clock. It's just swimming pools everywhere, look. This place is massive. 
Right, we've been instructed to dump our things and head down for dinner, so let's go do that. Right, we are down in the food hall, and this is part of the bonus of an all-inclusive golf holiday, which is generally the thing that you get when you come to Turkey. We're all absolutely ravenous after a long day of travelling. Just going to go and get dug into all this food. Right, having had a little walk around, I'm currently trying to process exactly what I have for food here because, as you can see, just on the centre little dome thing, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 25 different bits of food around this centre dome. <laughs> we managed dome. to narrow it down at all. <laughs> Which dome? <laughs> That's the soup station. Salad bars galore behind me as well. You are not going to go hungry here. What are we going for, Dan? We are just Starting tucking with in a salad. little bit of salad to start. Lovely. Just like, How many yeah. courses are you going to have? At least two or three. <laughs> and for the sweet tooth in the house, this is probably heaven. I'm not going to go in for any of this, I'm going to fill up some savoury stuff, that's just my thing. But wow, what a selection. That is Mark's fourth plate of food. They were both good as well. They were both good. <laughs> Dessert specialist getting stuck in. Should we get the bill, Matthew? What bill, Ray? Oh, that's a good point, yeah. isn't it? All inclusive. <laughs> we're looking for a games room. Table tennis has been called as the order of the evening. After Mark's four plates of food. <laughs> You're going to be like a ninja, Mark. <laughs> Leather shop, I can smell the leather shop. Yeah, that's a spa in there, isn't it? Spotted. I'm a little bit scared of the old table tennis mat. Yeah, dodgy knees, isn't you? Yeah, so if you could like play everything to my backhand, that'd be great. <laughs> Yeah, I can't promise. I haven't got a good. I haven't got a good backhand, but I'd like to not just dart to my right at any point. Right, so first full day of the Turkey tour and we're at Cornelia Faldo. Uh, we've made our way through the King Nine, there's three loops of nine here. First thing that strikes me about this place is the conditioning of the course, it's absolutely ridiculous. I'd imagine these courses get a lot of footfall and just immaculate, greens are great, fairways are great, semi-rough is pristine. Um, and it's a really fun course too, very narrow for someone like me and for someone like Matt probably see that when you see these vlogs. Uh, we're just heading into the Queen Nine now, so hopefully we'll show you a bit more of what this course is all about.
halfway through our back nine on the Queen Nine. Daniel son, mm -hmm. thoughts on not just the course but Turkey and the hotel so far. So we were staying at Cornelia Diamond last night. Oh, beautiful hotel, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely stunning. Uh, our view, looking over the water and everything, is stunning, yeah. isn't it? All um, you can eat food. All you can eat. All you can drink. We're impressed with Mark's haul. The four and a bit plates worth of food. That's too much food, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bit too much. And the puddings seems to happen as well. I mean, yeah. you could sit there and eat puddings all day, but. That was, yeah, spot on, absolutely perfect. And the course so far, amazing condition, is, isn't it? It's stunning condition, but tight. Yeah, even for Very you. Very tight, it's tight for me, yeah. yeah. I think yeah, what I feel condition. like, mate. <laughs> Works, Ray. Like that? Yeah. I'm not sure if you're blocked out if you go that side or not. Perfect. Set the cut. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. You've got to play back Rory's bit on the tee when I just. <laughs> Center cut, not blocked out, he can see it. <laughs> right, Ray, center cut. Yeah. He can see it, not blocked out. Ball above his feet, this is not easy. 154. I'm not sure if you're blocked out if you go that side or not. Set the cut. Oh, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Good shot. Not blocked out. Send the cut. Over to you, Dan. That is noise. I. What just happened there was probably one of the strangest things I've ever seen in a golf course. <laughs> challenge of the course here at the Fowler course at Cornelia is positioning. Positioning, 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 every single shot you hit, tee shots especially, uh, you can hit the fairway or just off it and be blocked out by these kind of like umbrella pines that you see just to my left which line every single hole left and right. Um, some of the long par fives which are really long off these back tees, there are one, two, three, four sets of tees to pick from, so definitely find your own comfort zone when you come here. Don't try and go off the backs. We kind of do it to keep the videos consistent. I wish we played a little bit further forward. Um, but so even on the long par fives, we are laying up in two. If you get it in the wrong half of the fairway, it can be very challenging. Short Ray, stay there, stay there. Come on. I think that's fast. Right, dog leg, it's a double dog leg, this one. Yeah. So we, um, well, you're all right, actually. You've got a nice little shot over the second tree. Yeah, I'm going to try and fade it back. Yeah. Just to keep it safe. Sounds good. This happened, this went really well last time I tried to fade up. So <laughs> I was on the second hole, I think. Four iron? Yeah. Straight ball, get over. Nope. Get under. Back there we? Yeah. Did it come out, did it? Beauty. <laughs> so, it's kind of course which you could do with having played it more than once. Uh, so if you are booking a holiday here, maybe book a couple of rounds here and you might have a better chance at a decent score in your second round. Nonetheless, it's a stunning golf course. We're on a gorgeous little par three now, and let's carry on with our round. Nicely played, Ray. Really well played, that. No! <laughs> He's old it. Turning that down. That's, that's called no point turning up. Three net two. Three net two. <laughs> what have you got and done there? 
Is that a your golf travel ball there? It is. I just picked it out of the hole. Ooh. <laughs> lovely. I think that's one up. Oh, we'd want to play. Look, 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 look. See you later, chaps. Bye, boys. <laughs> <laughs> You saw more of the course this time round, did you, than your last visit? Well, I saw a lot of it last time. <laughs> <laughs> more of the correct parts of the course. Yeah. Better on the back nine today, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Much better. What are your thoughts on the course overall? Yeah, good condition. Amazing good condition, condition isn't, it? isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Greens are great. Yeah. True, pretty quick. All nice. All nice. Good stuff. Kaya this afternoon, you played night golf there. Yeah, that's where the tournament was, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Year. yeah. So, tour course this afternoon. Yeah, a bit wider. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, a bit wider, but still some plenty of trees. Excellent news. There we go guys, that's the Cornelia Diamond Golf Resort. What a setup they have there. Obviously they're attached to the Cornelia Faldo course, which is one of the best we played out of the six. Um, unbelievable conditioning, really good challenge off the back tees. I'd imagine it's really good fun off the slightly more forward tees, which I would definitely play off if I was going back. Uh, on the resort itself, you've got a huge restaurant where Crossfield put away an incredibly impressive amount of food. Uh, I certainly couldn't keep up with them in that regard. Uh, but you've also got nine other restaurants there's loads of a la carte options as well if you fancy something a little bit more special than the all-inclusive offering which is amazing by the way they've got endless leisure facilities including a spa bowling alley ping pong table as you saw um, shopping mall etc etc and the accommodation is superb too so as i said cornelia diamond is a brilliant example of the type of setup of resort they have out in turkey in the black region Hope you enjoyed this video, uh, and if you fancy checking out Cornelia Diamond, check out the link in the description below. As always, subscribe to your golf travel channel, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys soon.